Hello! Today, we're going to talk about geometric and organic shapes. So, we'll learn back in first grade and kindergarten that a shape is a closed object. So, there's a difference between shapes and lines. Your lines has to connect to make a shape. Now, we're gonna learn how we can group shapes into two different families. Geometric shapes and organic shapes. So, geometric shapes are shapes that have named their shapes that we talk about in math. A lot you will recognize this shape because we've been talking about this since kindergarten. So, geometric shapes are shapes like square, circle, triangle, diamond, and heart. Artists use geometric shapes in their art all the time. So, see if you can find the geometric shapes in this painting by an artist named Pierre Mondrian. Let's take a second to pause the video and look at the geometric shapes here. So, as a bonus question, what color family do you see in this painting? Also, here is another artist that uses geometric shapes in his artwork, Paul Clay. We can find geometric shapes in this painting. Let's see if you can find the turn and share with your neighbor. So, the opposite of geometric shapes is organic shapes. Organic shapes are shapes that we see in nature. They're natural shapes, free-form shapes. Shapes that usually don't have a name, sometimes they have a name. But sometimes they don't. They are the opposite of geometric. So, you won't often see flat sides on organic, like Clouds, raindrops, flowers, leaves, and free form shapes. Like we see here, those are all organic shapes. Artists use organic shape in their artwork all the time. So let's look at the piece of art by Henry Matisse. See if you can find organic shapes here. And let's take a look at another artist that we've talked about before. Her name is Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe uses organic shape. Can you name organic shapes in this painting? Now, we're gonna take a minute to talk to our team and I would like you to name any geometric or organic shapes that you see in this painting. If you can name a few of them, let's look at one more piece of art and see if you can find some geometric and organic shapes here.